So uh, welcome back to Jafar for October 2020 update and uh, starting down at this end you can see that uh, I've made some progress with the uh, railway terrace so uh, first off we've got a series of uh, terraced houses these are from the Petite uh, Properties range and I used a uh, textured paint there to uh, give a sort of rendered finish. I'm still waiting for the uh, roof tiles to come. Um, so I've ordered some uh, Cornish slate roof tiles and uh, as you can see I've got some curtains in there. Uh, they'll be lit eventually. Um, so yeah the curtains are just uh, paper printed off the internet and uh, coloured with pens um, but uh, looks pretty uh, convincing I think uh, I've got some uh, guttering uh, on the way from Model U um, so I'll have some lots of uh, down pipes which will help to uh, cover this uh, gap here as well so uh, let's have a closer look I fabricated some uh, door handles um, and a bobby pins and uh, then some uh, plastic for the uh, letter boxes and uh, just painted those with uh, brass paint and the chimneys have uh, just covered those with uh, plastic uh, brick so uh, painting those shortly and uh, got chimney pots coming from uh, Model U in the UK as well so the pavement or sidewalk is from uh, Intentio so this will just be a little one way street which takes us up to the, the pub and the overpass so I haven't done anything with the railway tavern but I've done quite a bit of work on the uh, the shop here again still waiting for the uh, tiles to go on the top um, but uh, as you can see from the shop if I can focus Ooh. got a uh, bunch of stuff in the shop uh, shop window so I've turned, decided to be a news agent in the end and uh, the blue tea sign that's from Sankey's models and signs so uh, not finished yet but get in there some curtains inside the windows got to put the sills on uh, yet um, but that's uh, turning into a nice uh, scene there for railway terrace uh, about the railway itself down here what else I've been working on is this uh, Skytrex uh, fueling point. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a resin kit and white metal. Um, so, uh, made that to look like a uh, nice hard standing firebox and fire extinguisher. The uh, pipe for the fuel water tap uh, and some uh, spill around uh, the drains, those drains didn't come with a kit, those drains I've uh, added myself and the uh, laser cut fencing that's from uh, scale model scenery so yeah I think it looks uh, quite convincing hopefully uh, gonna put some lights in there as well. Uh, figures from uh, Model U as well. Next to that, we've got the uh, railway laser lines uh, fuel hut, uh, which I'm. Uh, this is just mocked up at the moment. Nothing's uh, glued or stuck. It's literally just uh, mocked up for to look at the position. So. Because this barrel won't be on the top, 
But yeah, so uh, that'll be a nice little uh, scene there for uh, fueling uh, locomotives. And uh, this arrived uh, this week from uh, Dapol, and uh, it's an oil uh, or fuel tanker that uh, we'll use to have movement to fill this uh, refueling point. And as you can see, I've weathered it with an airbrush and uh, then used um, some uh, fresh engine oil from uh, the MIG range to uh, look like a bit of a spill down the side. Got some other model figures that I've uh, painted up. They've not been dull coated yet, so that's why they're a little bit shiny, but uh, these are really, really good uh, 3D printed. Uh, characters uh, which uh, go along with the Hardy's Hobbies ones that uh, they've got as well. Um, there's another one there that I've uh, done. Again, got to be dull coated yet, but uh, nice characters. Got another one down here. Meaning, have a look under the class 25. Uh, there's a problem there somewhere, so uh, I'll double coat those shortly and get them uh, finished off. Got another character down here with a duster in his hand. So uh, again, got to double coat him. And you'll recall that I had those uh, turbots in the last uh, video, so I've been uh, weathering those. So they stayed on the layout for a couple of weeks, looking pristine, but now they've been uh, weathered. Again, airbrush, acrylics, um, use of powders as well. I haven't done the underframes yet for the wheels, so uh, and the bogies. Uh, I'll get round right to those. This final one here, put a spoil load in there, so with some ballast and some ties or sleepers, as they know in, uh, in Britain. Um, Got these sleepers from uh, Intentio, and uh, they look really nice. So, yeah, I'm starting to look like a working railroad now with wagons that actually look like they've uh, they've been used. Finally, uh, is the uh, station master's cottage, which I've just been putting together. So, um, again, waiting for the tiles to come. Um, done some more work on the. Uh, signal box which uh, waiting for the chimneys to come from Model U so uh, as usual living here in Canada wait, we have to wait for a while for the stuff to to arrive but um, some good uh, progress overall so yeah excuse the mess with some of the tools and stuff but uh, I think the buildings are starting to uh, make it come alive a little bit and of course uh, gives the uh, railroad a purpose. Anyway, short update, that's it for now and uh, hopefully have some more updates for you uh, next month. Thanks for watching.